Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel Grown Folk, it's your girl Ashley. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to know when I post videos, hit the notification bell. If you are enjoying this video, hit the thumbs up. And I want you to welcome yourself into the comment section and discuss this with me and the rest of the crew about this here topic which we all can see it is about the delusional having ass clown kim zoziak beerman tonight is the 22nd of april and we got the last installment of the housewives which we was totally robbed but that's a whole nother video right there that i'm not about to make because i know y'all already know that so i don't have to tell y'all that but we just gonna child we got to discuss this bullshit this fuckery that kim just did an hour ago now, I know I was not the only viewer tonight looking at that screen on your TV like, am I in a dream? Because this is this has got to be a game. All right, like Andy, he's kind of slipping on his, on his stuff right here with not asking the proper questions or holding the answers to the ladies. You know, like Portia kept piping in when she just needed to be straight quiet. And Sheree just looked dumb in a curtain. Now, Sheree, I think she's a gorgeous woman. But Sheree is a little too shady for me. Like, I don't like that type of shade. Like, you being in my face and stuff and then kick in with the next person, is that will get your ass licked. So don't do that. And I don't, I don't think that's like even partly funny but the stuff that kim gets away with is just like bananas and the lies that kim and sheree go through and do is just like able to be found you google them hoes right now and you can look at the same information i am about to tell you so i cannot figure out why they let them help us sit on that couch and do not bury their asses with facts and embarrassment because they got plenty of that out there okay believe me so let's start with kim's inflatable ass we can just point out a couple of things that Kim has lied about. This them cringing moments, you know, when somebody lying, you'd be like, ooh, damn, they need to be embarrassed for what they just said, and yet the whole room is embarrassed for them, yet they don't seem to get it. Let's just point some of Kim's moments out. Now, it's very obvious that Kim was the first housewife that, you know, ate coochie, like, the very first one, okay? You you brought the shit to the game, so that's that's some shit you started. That's a trend you started with that um, little manly thing from L.A. that you was eating coochie trying to get up the chain gang. So, like, I just don't understand why you keep letting that fall out your mouth as if that's not some shit that you yourself didn't bring to the crew. Then there's the multiple times you have gotten some type of procedure and went right on Andy's show and lied your little ass off despite the fact that he literally sent and paid people to your house to record you do stupid shit and you did the stupid shit and then you tried to tell him you didn't do the stupid shit while the stupid shit was on camera. Yeah, that part. Then there's the time you was having hot flashes, but then your doctor told you that you was in labor, but then you wasn't in labor, but then you went back into labor, and then all of a sudden you just passed the hell out in the story that you couldn't provide no proof of, of no place where this even happened. A very grand one when you sat there and said that your house that you built from the ground up, that somebody else built from the ground up, that despite the fact we watched you walk through the house and like lay claim to the house, you still lied and said that you built it from the ground up when you got your show tardy from the party as if people was like plum dumb and wasn't going to realize like that shit don't even make sense. And then you got evicted from the bitch because you were squatting for over eight months because y'all weren't paying no damn rent, but you want to say y'all balling? Like the audacity of that. Let's not forget being just flat out caught lying about molestation that never happened to you that your father was able to prove. On to one of the most recent ones when she had the audacity to say in interviews and tweeted out that she was the only one that Andy has on alone and the highest rated show when he promptly put your ass back in check and reminded you that no help you actually the lowest rated show and have been for the last three years when you come to watch what happens Andy. 
And last but down show not least, your biggest one from all the way back from season one, line about cancer, your age, being a nurse, getting a heart surgery, sitting up there jumping up and down with the idiot next to you sitting on the couch that's been your mule from day one, okay? Sitting up there hugging and talking about, saying, ooh, I'm the black you, you the white me. And then sitting up there outside of Phaedra's um, event, jumping up and down in the cold like some idiot is talking about some big papa then gave you a ring asked you to marry him when the man laying up with his wife at the moment she was probably sitting up there lying like bitch that's not even funny denial right there that's just like what like that don't make nobody damn sense but thus that's kim and sheree's dynamic now let's get into some things that she should have been nailed to that damn couch about. First of all, if you ask for one more apology, somebody in Atlanta need to whoop your ass on sight. What is making you think that you deserve these apologies amongst people that you work with, that are your peers, that you feeling like you somewhere in a lane where you need to be getting a damn apology from because to be honest you know i thought marlon was being a bit nice because if you look at this picture right here and the other pictures on the internet marlon is beating your ass by a mile okay you look stretched tied through and deflated and baby, I would never, ever, ever, ever let your ass forget how trifling you was for putting your mama out for using the restroom and that trifling fake ass build up from the ground up house that y'all were proclaiming that y'all wasn't even paying rent in and got put out a short six months later. Mm-hmm. That part. And when I say my petty level would have been so lit on that damn couch, Tanae, it ain't even funny, okay? Because, see, I would have had a fan made up right here of this picture, okay? Because let's recall what happened. After somebody, because it probably wasn't y'all slow asses, that cropped this picture together that you put up and then deleted with the quickness, but yet you tag kim kardashian and her publisher saw it and they promptly called your ass and told you not to put that back up there and to write a statement about it and then you wrote into this whole you called a blog remember you called a blog and actually went into a whole lie about how somebody did xyz and you was the one that put it up and the site that ran with it you tried to say yet again somebody was harassing you you and all of this and whatnot so yes remember that just don't don't forget that like these are things that she needs to be reminded about that her trifling line ass did and we're going to wrap Kim up with this right here. All right. This whole jealousy thing. Like, I need to know how she is even doing that. Because she just puts everything as jealousy. Nobody wants a husband that is running out to Tom, Dick, and Harry when you ain't got a tracking device on his ass. Okay? Because it's been, been plenty of stories about Croy lacking the D before you was even statutory raping his ass. Okay? So, that's just number one. All right? We just going to get that out the way since you want to be in denial about that because Punani ain't his number one. All right? Now, second of all, don't nobody want to trap no dude with all them damn kids like you did. Because that's what you did, Kim. That's what you did. Then you sit there and alienated this man from his parents because they didn't want him being with nothing like this shit here. Okay, what was his mother to do, Kim? She didn't saw your titties molding. You didn't saw him your damn self. All right, you sitting up there pussy popping on a handstand and think somebody going to sit there and advise their child to marry your old crip keeping ass? Like, get with the program and be for real. On to step and fetch and tap dance and Bojangles, blackface ass charade. Now, I'm not even going to lie. My mouth hit the floor more than once learning this information. We all remember her little prison bay, Tyrone. You know that she holding out for. Well, the word on the street is, and in the court documents, 
We all recall that very scene when Sheree was on the balcony and Tyrone was telling her, oh, you know that I skipped out, you know, I stopped seeing you because I didn't want to get you involved with the FBI. Or I, you know, I just dropped, that's why I dropped off the face of the earth. And, you know, she was like, oh, yeah, you know, I knew it was something. Well, bitch, Shay was lying, okay? She went to jail and served two full years for that very crime because she was found guilty being an accomplice to him. So I don't know how in the hell that was left out and how in the hell that them helpers is not throwing it right up in her face, let alone the unlogical storyline that they were trying to push on us when in reality a woman that has been and survived an abusive relationship no clear and damn well everybody in the house knows of this situation but despite the fact that when they were going through that and were married somehow the nfl did find out and thus made them go to family counseling in which all of the kids were involved so how is it that umpteen years later they don't recall you getting ass whoopings that's just lying at this point but despite you can go look that up that's not even by far the shocking thing of the whole situation now we know last season that they put Sheree coming back as like she was getting her groove back with her ex-husband Bob well baby that was a bunch of shenanigans okay and because this lady right here said <laughs> Pause. Y'all gonna cut this shit out. When the show wrapped, her and Bob would get a lot of flack for, you know, she was just being harassed. People found her social media and was like, oh, you're the reason that Bob and Sheree didn't make it. You're a whore. You're this, you're that. You're white. You shouldn't be with him. They was like just tripping all over this lady. So she was like, let me put y'all to sleep and shut y'all the hell up and feed y'all some facts that y'all obviously ain't got enough time to go look for okay she made it very clear that she had been there for a minute and was on that very trip in season nine that they went to and her and bob actually were staying at the same hotel that the rest of the crew was staying at and sheree upon her request had to stay at another hotel because that's the only way bob was going to go okay she wrapped that shit out and told all of that it's a backtrack and put proof for people to be like um let me quit going in on this lady she promptly and quickly started posting Brandon Nass throwback pictures of her on the red carpet with celebrities and things like this and the most telling picture was this one you looking at right here where she entitled it like um her and Bob on the R&W which is Ray J and Whitney um type flow and to pay attention to the facts okay and so you you know people was like what the hell that mean that's encryption we don't know what the hell that meant but once people started stalking and paying attention it was clear that she was saying pay attention to that wardrobe all right because whitney been gone for a minute and you see her standing right there with ray j that's how long or even longer she has been with bob okay she wrapped that shit right up in some pictures and some encryption messages and i love a chick that will wrap her man and check a whole quick fast and in a hurry she shut that down like a wife that act alone deserves a ring bob you need to wife women like that up what do y'all think about this like are y'all shocked with the whole situation of all the magnitude of the lies that kim and sheree tell did you guys know this shit like am i the only one that really is like this is not even cool get down below and let me know what you think on this here because i'm just disturbed and upset about this damn reunion that didn't even have to last no damn three episodes now y'all already know i enjoyed you like i always do and i will see you guys on my next video bye